Welcome back, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is your hump day love reading for all of you fire signs. I already have two cards that fell out during the shuffle, and I've already shuffled them and re-put the deck back together, um, and then I had an issue with my video, so I'm restarting that here. So what we have at the bottom are the justice or the strength card in this deck. So this is Leo energy for sure, um, fire sign energy also Libra energy there's maybe an imbalance here maybe somebody's maybe there's a Leo here in a le legal situation maybe somebody's in a legal situation but either way it goes somebody's gonna need some strength and there's definitely some type of imbalance going on um, imbalance or is on the way to being restored with this so what is going on with that and then we also have the king of Pentacles here so this is solid stable energy Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy um, like I said, maybe maybe something's going on legally. Maybe somebody's getting a divorce. Maybe somebody's thinking about getting married, running off to the altar with somebody who seems like super duper perfect because these are both in the upright. Um, yeah, lots of Libra, Leo energy in this and an imbalance. So here is the strength card in this deck. So strength. Um, yeah, that's interesting, so interesting. Um, yeah, so strength here, Leo energy, you're showing up here again in your reading. So somebody's maybe holding on to something. Maybe something, like I said, there's an imbalance here with this justice card, something balance needing to be restored. But this is definitely somebody's holding on to something and doesn't want to let go of it. Maybe, they, again, maybe somebody's feeling like they're that they're this perfect person. They don't want to let them go. Mm, interesting. And yeah, but more fire sign energy here with the nine of wands. This is somebody who is um, standing guard, who's but still defensive, not giving everything up quite away. See, they're kind of sneakily doing something, hoping nobody sees. Maybe somebody's been caught doing something, and that's this balance that needs to be restored. Maybe there was some third-party energy here that no, somebody doesn't want to address. And then we have the death card. So yeah, something needs to come to an end here. It's maybe, again, major arcana here with the justice card the strength card and the death card. So yeah, something definitely major is going on here. Definitely with you you um, fire signs, what is going on? With the death card here, Scorpio energy. This is something needing to come to an end. Um, but when one door closes, another one opens. So this, either maybe somebody needs to end a third party situation, or maybe somebody's gonna walk away from somebody who's put them in a third party situation because they just had enough. Maybe they've fully invested everything with that king of earth energy. And now, because they've, they've not let go and somebody's not letting go of maybe something that they need to get rid of, maybe this other person, this third party energy, maybe it's an imbalance with um, work-life balance, but somebody's walking away from something because they're just, they're over that, waiting on somebody to make the changes that they need. Yep, something's definitely coming to an end here with this Ten of Cups. Maybe the relationship's coming to an end or this is people coming together for a happy, um, for the happy ending card. This is um, the Ten of Ten of Cups energy. Um, so definitely a situation in love and somebody, yeah, definitely something's coming to an end and maybe this is that other situation. Maybe this is somebody walking away. See, she's alone in the water, not looking back. I have a feeling that somebody's definitely walking away from a third party situation here that they've been put in. Three of Swords, so yeah, third party energy here, absolutely, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, this is, I would say the heartbreak card, somebody's heartbroken. Um, or they're just caught up in the wind. They don't really know where they stand with it. I feel like they just don't know where they stand with this person more than anything. And maybe that's breaking their heart, is that everything's just kind of up in the air. Yeah, and they, they're not getting the victory that they want. They're not getting this person, or they're not feeling like they're getting this person. They don't know where they stand emotionally with them. Maybe they're very flirty. Maybe they even flirt with you in front of, maybe they flirt with people right in front of you. Maybe, maybe they're one, one of those bold assholes. But this is fire sign energy right here. Here you guys are showing up again. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Interesting. Yeah, and then you have this offer of love. So maybe... After you walk away from this situation with this death card, um, this in and out situation, this player situation that's going on, this third party energy, I think maybe you get that offer that you want, this Ace of Cups energy, this offer of love. Somebody's going to say, mm, I missed that. See, she's kind of sitting by the water think, with the ship coming in, thinking about something. Maybe this is a ship returning um, that she's been waiting on. Maybe they regret missing out on something with this Ace of Cups. What's at the bottom of the deck here to close it out? 
Four of Pentacles energy. So this is so this is somebody holding something um, close to their ch chest to me um, in a traditional deck. But this is somebody who mm, isn't ready to quite step out there or take that bold leap. Um, but it's solid and stable when they do. See, that I would say they, they're ready to take that bold leap into something solid and stable if it was upright. But with it being in reverse, I feel like there's just somebody has a lack of confidence here. They don't know which way to go with this in and out energy here we've seen. But um, there's something underneath that. Yeah, somebody's definitely moving on from this toxic situation here with this Cheerio card. Again, another major arcana. So yeah, somebody's not going to take is not taking an offer. I feel like th this person's going to come back and you're not going to take the offer because something else is going to be presented to you. Maybe an offer that you want with somebody who can love you the way that you need and love you the way that you want, um, give you the praise that you need, uh, fire signs. You need a lot of ego boosting. But yeah, somebody's going to move away from something that's just no longer serving them anymore because I feel like you've committed a lot with that king of earth energy um, here at the beginning between this justice and the strength card. Is somebody really committed, gave their all into something and they just... With that in and out third party energy, they just they don't have anything to give anymore, and now they're ready to give it to somebody else. Oh man, please keep me um, informed. Let me know. Leave me a comment, like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll be checking in with you guys soon. Thank you so much for checking into my channel. Bye bye.